scenarios that seem to be happening rather frequently in the studios. That is the issue of the hardware, the Pro Tools hardware and software are not handshaking properly. So um, you might have one thing set wrong. And the other is that your input output labels are not set up correctly. And so we're gonna go through how to troubleshoot those two things. So you come into a Pro Tools session and you go to record on a track and you're met with some kind of an error message that says the track couldn't be record enabled because it doesn't have an input and an output assigned. Okay, so you say, okay, and you look and you look at your inputs and you say like, whoa, wait a minute, that's supposed to say mic one and two. Why do, that doesn't look normal to me. Okay, so um, there's a couple of issues at foot here. The first thing you want to double check is that your hardware configuration setting or your playback engine is set correctly. So in order to verify that, we go up to the setup window and we look at the playback engine. And that comes up and we see, ah, well, this looks like it would be right. It's got Pro Tools in the title, but Pro Tools aggregate is actually not what we want. That's the sum of all the inputs and outputs, like on the back of the computer and all that kind of stuff. We don't want that. What we want is just the Mbox Pro. That's our input output device. So you want to reselect the Mbox Pro and it tells you when you do that, hey, I've got to close your session and save it and then reopen it with these new settings. Do you want to do that? And yes, you do. Okay, so now we are going to reopen and it is only going to use the Pro Tools hardware for our session. That is what we want. We don't need to save a report about what we did. That's fine. Okay, so that's part one. Now, the second thing is our input and output still doesn't look right. So we want this to look like it does in all the other labs where we have a choice of mic one or mic two for the input and our output bus is just our, our main output. Our output would just be say, you know, main left, right. Okay, not all this other stuff. We don't know what that means, right? So the way we get to that is again in the setup window, setup menu, I.O. this time for input output labels. And that brings up this little interface. So you don't have to do a whole lot here. All you have to do is go to the import settings. For whatever reason, this one has gotten changed. So we want to just go back. It should default to your input output settings folder for where the stuff was stored, but that's actually in the Avid Pro Tools application folder. There's a little subfolder for input output settings. And we just choose the room that we're in. And when I open that, You'll see, if you watch here in the background, this is currently showing me my inputs are this analog one, two, three, four, five, six, and speed if left and right. So it says, do you want to delete any of the existing unused paths? Yeah, I sure do. Yes. Boom. Oh, look at that. Now we're back. Okay, so now my input is mic one and mic two only because that's the only inputs that I actually have in this room. And then my output, now I need to recall this as well. So I'm going to choose import. 139 again, open, delete any unused paths. Yes. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now my input is mic one and two and my output is main left, right. It's stereo output. Great. Everything is back to normal. I say, okay. So that is now updated the labels here in my input output. So if I go to my input, my interface, ah, now I can choose microphone one and whoop, it's telling me I can't record and enable it until I also assign an output main left, right out. Great, so now I've got an input that makes sense and an output that makes sense. And now when I rec record enable the track, now I can see it and I can hit record and play. And I actually start recording my file. I can zoom in here so that I can see what I'm actually doing. Boom, and now I'm actually recording my file as I go, one, two, three. Four, five, six. All right. So what we did was we reset our playback engine and we reset the I.O. So playback engine and I.O. both under the setup window. Okay. Good luck.